Hello, my name is Jeff with Adash and this is the DDS tutorial video. In this video, I would like to show you how to view and work with measured data. I won't describe all possibilities, just the most common functions. Click on the graph tab where we can preview the data. By clicking on the measuring point, we can see the preview of all data cells which have been measured under this measuring point. To view data from one data cell, I click on the one I want. To view data from different measuring points, I hold control and select the required data cells. We can change the arrangement of the graph windows using the tile function. There's tile, tile horizontal, tile vertical, and cascade. Now I click on an individual data cell to see a data preview just from this particular data cell. You can load more than one measurement or reading to one data cell. Here we see the trend of the velocity RMS reading. I can switch on the cursor by pressing S or by clicking on the type button and selecting single. I use the left and right keyboard buttons to move the cursor, or I can click on the reading with the mouse. I can see the date and time of the particular reading and its value. To see the list of all measurements in the graph, go to the Tree tab and check the Data List checkbox. You can see the date and time together with the measured value in the list. If you want to delete any reading, for example one that has been measured mistakenly, right click on the reading which you want to delete and select delete. In this way you can also add or edit a reading. Let's go back to the graph tab. Dynamic data such as time waveforms or FFTs have more options. Here we have the velocity spectrum. First I will show you how to zoom in and out on the graph. Click and hold the cursor to select the part of the x-axis or the y-axis which you want to zoom in on. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag it up and left to zoom out. If the cursor function is switched on you need to hold the control button while you do this. Or press the auto scale button. You can also zoom in and zoom out by clicking anywhere on the graph and using the mouse scroll wheel. There are more types of cursors for dynamic readings. Select the type button and you can see the types of cursors. Simple, Delta RMS. With Delta RMS I can extend a range and I can see the RMS value of the energy of the selected range. Another type is the harmonic cursor, where you can look for harmonic components of the running speed, for example. You can add your own label with your notes to the graph. To do so, double click on the position in the graph where you want to add the label. The Add Label window appears, asking if you want to view and add a new label. Select OK. Now the Add Label window shows you the measured values of the point where you clicked and you can add your note. Confirm by clicking OK. You can move the note to any part of the graph. Right click on the note to edit or delete it. I edit the note. I write Running Speed for example, you can move the pointer as well simply by dragging and dropping it. You can display different types of graph. Go to the graph type button. For example, amplitude and trend, where you can see all the static values, 
and you can click on any one of them to see the related dynamic graph. Or waterfall. And other types. You can change the physical quantity of the reading. Click the quantity button and select acceleration, velocity or displacement. Data will be recalculated automatically. To change the units of the X or Y axes, click on the X unit button or Y unit button to change the units. For example from Hertz to RPM. This has been a brief introduction to some graph functions.